uh, uh, last in TV and film, Echo, uh, the Marvel show that released uh, five episodes all at once uh, on both uh, Disney Plus and Hulu. Um, I almost didn't continue watching it because the first episode was basically a recap for people who haven't seen Hawkeye where the character debuted. And, you know, despite not liking the term superhero fatigue, because I feel like it belittles superheroes and tries to fit them all into a neat little genre where high art can exist. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of being disappointed. And I am starting to feel right. a bit of that fatigue. Um, I already skipped Flash and Secret Invasion, and I'm prepared to skip more superhero movies and shows. Mm. But the the second episode of this did get me back into it, and you know, once I you know once it actually started to get into the the plot properly, I I, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Um, uh, it was five episodes, and that wasn't enough. It needed either it needed either to be shorter and like a movie length, or it needed to be longer. It was it was one of those shows where it either either it, it was either too much or too little. It's it's a weird in between. I feel like a lot of Marvel shows are like that. They either feel like they needed to be a movie or they needed a couple more episodes. It's weird. Um, I, I hate this whole mini six episode mini series thing that Marvel keeps doing. Like if you're gonna yeah. make a show, make a goddamn show. Make it like twelve. Make a show. Episodes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I feel like uh, it bounces between a crime drama, a coming of age story, and a family tale. And it could have done mm-hmm. all of that much better with more time for each element. Uh, we really got, like I said, got to do it with the limited series. Uh, um, yeah. The last time we talked about Echo, I mentioned how they said they were changing her powers, which were previously mm-hmm. photographic reflexes or the ability to perfectly copy other people's movements. Um, because she, she debu- debuted in a Daredevil comic. So she's meant to kind of be the opposite of him. Daredevil was blind with heightened sense of senses, and especially hearing. While Echo is deaf with a heightened sense of sight where she can copy movements just based on seeing them. And in the comments, she becomes like a world-renowned pianist because of that. And of course, naturally, she's a good fighter. But instead, they turned her into the Avatar. And I don't really like it, to be honest. Mm, um, yeah, I think they're, they're doing it to play into her Native American roots with this new ability, but uh, it's just kind of lame to me. I don't think like it's a racist thing. I think the person who made it is actually Native American, but I still don't like it. Ah, okay. Because I was like, I was a like, concern. <laughs> I still don't. I still don't like it. I just don't think it's an interesting power. Just turn her. Just turning her into the Avatar. I think she's. Yeah. They keep trying to make these characters' powers more grand when she's meant to just be a street level hero. She doesn't need this grand, reaching back and, you know, taking the experience of the ancestor type powers. Just give her the photographic uh, reflexes. Um, but speaking of Daredevil, uh. It's what they've been doing with the, the 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 reboot or not. It's not a reboot. It's technically a continuation of the, the Netflix show. It's weird. So at one point they thought it was a good idea to get rid of every other get rid of the entirety of the supporting cast and only bring back the actor that plays the and actor that plays uh um uh Kingpin who was in Echo. He's a, the main villain of Echo. Vincent D'Onofrio is Kingpin. Um and everybody was like, "What are you doing?" The <laughs> you're literally removing everything that we liked about the original show and now they've restarted they they filmed half of the show and now they're restarting production because they realized that what they were doing was extremely stupid some i don't know if it was the fan backlash online or somebody behind the scenes stopped them and said hey what are you doing you're literally <laughs> taking away everything that people liked about the original show and yeah, now they're going back to they brought they brought back everybody. They brought back the supporting cast. They brought back the dude who played Bullseye. They brought back everybody now. And now they're restarting. And um, they might be bringing back the original like writers and showrunners from the original show to just make it good. Because <laughs> what they were planning to do before was not going to be good at all. 